on the MTV show is learning a few different things from around the world. Could you please explain what this phrase and word is? This word is called outbuiken. It's about giving your belly room to breathe. And ah. this is if you have a great Singapore dinner yes. and you had like parts of it and you're so full <laughs> and I'm like, I need to outbuiken. You just <laughs> open one or two buttons of your jeans so you give your belly room to breathe. Outbauken. Outbauken. So what does this mean? We all have our <laughs> the first word, Buiten, means outside, and Beinje means a small leg. This means an outsider, the black sheep of the group, or whatever you want to call it. Somebody who doesn't really count. It kind of has a negative like vibe. It, it means like someone who is always uh, like left out. So the, yeah, the one nobody that really knows the group. what to do with them. So they're yeah. like the Buiten Beinje, you know? So they're yeah. always outside of the group. How do you say it? One more time. Bouten Beinje. Bouten Beinje. Yeah. Learn something new every day. Could you help me learn what this is? Voorpret. That's uh, Dutch for foreplay. <laughs> Voorpret. Really good. Voorpret. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, Voorpret. Voorplay. Yeah, you can take it sexual, but I would say let's have a couple of drinks, get in the moment before you get on stage, like the foreplay before little, you get on stage. Little pregame, little pregame. Uh, yeah, it's like a pregame. <laughs> That's it. Translate this verse. <laughs> So the, the, the correct uh, sentence is to chant en yaourt, not to chant du yaourt. So li if you translate it literally, it means you're singing yogurt. It means when you're, you're fake singing, your lips, your lip syncing, but you do not sing. So for example, uh, when Britney Spears comes on stage, you know, and she doesn't sing, you say, ah, she chants yaourt because she's not singing, oh. you know? And I think it literally comes from the fact that she, do she would do something like that, which sort of mimicates the action of enjoying a good yogurt. I'm not saying this for Britney, <laughs> that I love Britney, we love you, and no, you're not chanting en yaourt all the time. Sometimes you sing for real and we love it. We love it. How would you use bojo <laughs> in a sentence? Bojo is a you know hawking term, uh, meaning that um, you don't call someone out to an invitation or like a party. Let's say like you have this super sick Snapchat story of somewhere in a club and your close friend, you didn't invite him and he just sends you a salty text saying like, you know, bo -tio. Leaving someone out or uh, just not calling someone, you know, bo means not and then is just like bring someone out. So that's yeah, that's what it means. Exactly. Salty text. That's <laughs> this it. is salty. Throw some salt on it. Here you guys go.